Okay, uh... Let's go and report. Let's see. The illegal parking has been done. The important item retrieval has been done. And the monster has been dealt with. Alright, so... The only ones we've got are the missing doctor and the many views of Crossbell, which is going to have to wait. Because apparently there are locations to get the max amount of DP that we want uh, are inaccessible at this time. So we're going to wait. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry. Alright, so I'm back over at this uh, Gyom factory over in the downtown district. I'm going to try and customize this stuff. Corkscrew, Black Rain, uh, Cyclotron, and the Graham Chopper. We got, I just bought all of these, so. Let's start customizing. And run out of, oh, oops. I was not paying attention to what... Okay. I thought... Alright. I didn't have enough U materials. Uh, how many do I have? Yeah. I now only have one left. So I need to grind four more of them to get uh, the better equipment for... Randy. Oh boy. The soul kiss. Jeez. Aries Rod. Graham Chopper. Oh yeah, the Graham Chopper is what I bought. Duh. Okay, so that was that was his services, which Honestly, it's pretty good. Better items. Alright, so we're here in Amorica Village real quick to start to kind of help us ease into the whole thing. I've already gotten the U materials that I need for Randy's new upgraded weapon. I just need to... Uh, real quick, take a little photo. Amorica's vi Amorica Village's fields and uh, apiary are as beautiful as ever. Crossbell's is, Crossbell's esteemed farming village. Grace's tourist guide might benefit from a landscape shot of this. It's picture perfect, that's for sure. Due to Amorica's clean air, it's easy to see from far away. This m may very well be the only place in Crossbell that you can witness such a beautiful, untainted sight. If only there was uh, were farmers working in the fields for our pictures. This spot would uh, make a nice photo for Grace's article. Farmers or not. Do you mind taking a few photos for us, Ellie? Not at all. Don't expect a masterpiece from me, though. Psh, relax, Mademoiselle. You just gotta peek through the lens, give, give it a little click, then bam, we good. <sighs> if only capturing a great photo were that simple. You need to pay close attention to your composition to ensure you've captured everything in frame. The weather, wind speed, and lighting can completely alter the impression a photo gives. There are no second chances when it comes to a picture-perfect moment. The differences in quality between amateur and professional photography is immediately apparent. I would imagine a simpleton would have difficulty grasping any level of in intricacy or nuance, however. Damn, Teal Tot. You implying something? C calm down, everyone. We should let Ellie focus on taking the photo. Right. I'll try to live up to your expectations. Hmm. 
There we go. I just took a couple of extras just in case. Hey, it looks like you uh, you pulled through. Well, how'd they turn out? I won't have an answer for you until I've seen the developed photos. At the very least, I think uh, they'll get the job done. It would be safe a uh, safe assumption to think Ellie has regained her photography skills. Well, I'm no picture-taking guru, but I'm sure they turned out fine. Right, we should keep our eyes peeled for other scenic locations we can take a photo photos of. But anyway, let's get a move on. <coughs> Alright. So I got that. Now we're going to start making our way back to Crossbell City. If I remember how to get out of here. <laughs> there we go. Let's take the bus to the fork. Alright, so we're on Old Amorica Road on the way back to Crossville. You know, now that I've had a chance to soak in the sights, the rural scenery here is lovely. You can say that again. Didn't have much of a chance to really check it out last time, considering we had monsters to take down. I suspect this location would provide a perfect setting for a countryside picnic. However, there's a high probability nearby monsters would ruin our fun. Still though, I'd bet it'd uh, be really fun to drive down this road. Traders like Mr. Hayworth probably know the ins and outs of Crossbell like the back of his ha their hand. I'm sure they do. Hmm. I bet we could take a great photo of this area for Grace's article. Will you do the honors, Ellie? Okay, leave it to me. I hope they turn out okay. Nice, Ellie. You look pretty confident taking that picture. Shall we move on? Alright, so over here, south, just south of cross, uh, Crossbell. So this big old body of water is the Lupinus River, huh? What's that thingy floating, uh, floating all the way out in the middle it's supposed to be? I'm going to guess there are some old ruins. The database contains no details either. The only information I found was that uh, entry is prohibited. I can't speak to the ruins' origins, but I've heard people refer to it as a matchmaking shrine. If a man stands on the left of the observation platform and a woman stands to the right, they can give their vows and live happily ever after. I don't know about that, Mademoiselle. That kind of sounds like an old wives' tale. Hmm, I bet we could take a great photo of this area for Grace's article. Will you do the honors, Ellie? Okay, leave it to me. I hope they turn out okay. Alright. Just one screen, huh? Alright. Oh, hey, this is a nice view of Stargazer Tower. Let's take a picture. Stargazer's Tower. It's been a while since we fought Yin here. On second glance, this place sure is beautiful, isn't it? From the outside, absolutely. From the inside, not so much. Would it not be wise to conduct an investigation of the entire tower someday? Leaving mysteries like this unchecked always leaves an unsavory taste in my mouth. Considering the place is under the CGF's jurisdiction, that might be easier said than done, Tio Tot. On top of that, you'd have to get permission from a of a dumbass who won't allow anything that doesn't earn him a promotion. Well, with all the these problems to deal with, we'll never get uh, bored. Anyway, this spot would make a nice photo for a great article. It pretty. Okay, so we're at the medical college. Let's take care of this support request. Hello. So we're looking for a missing doctor? <sighs> Dr. 
Doctor, where can you be? Good afternoon, Sarah. We saw the support request you submitted. Oh, the special support section. Thank Idios you're here. Wait, what's going on again? Um, you don't remember? One of St. Ursula's doctors has gone missing, and we were asked to search for him. You know, lady, uh, you seem awfully calm about this whole thing. What gives? Yes, well, I wouldn't call this calm. I think saying I'm fed up would be more, a bit more accurate. Fed up? Is uh, that what you should be saying? Can you clarify the details of your request? There seems to be a misunderstanding over how severe we each consider a missing person's t case to be. Oh, I should explain. The doctor in question is a man named uh, Joachim... Jo... Joachim? Gunter. Dr. Gunter is, well, despite being an expert in his field, he sometimes disappears at the most inconvenient times. Dr. Gunter, wasn't he that doctor with the blue hair and glasses from before? And by missing, you really meant the guys playing hooky? If we're being blunt, yes. The hospital still has a lot of things left on its plate, and with him gone... So, what you're trying to tell us is that you have no idea where the doctor could have gone off to? Yes, unfortunately, that's exactly right. I'm sorry, everyone. It might have been irresponsible for me to write the request like I did. Gone missing and all that. What do you think, guys? I think we can postpone this if we want. Based on the information given, the level of urgency s seems quite low. Since Sarah's the one asking us, I want to follow up on this if we can. I suppose there's still a chance he could have got, uh, gotten mixed up into some trouble. Uh-oh. Lighten, how many times do I have to tell you shouting in the hospital is against the rules? Sorry about that, I didn't actually mean to. Hey, if it isn't our favorite assault victim, how you holding up, man? What? Oh, hey everyone, I really appreciate everything you did for- Wait, that's not the problem, uh, right now. Sarah, where the heck is Dr. Gunter? About that, I'm sorry, Lighten, he still isn't back. You're joking, right? Oh, goddess, what am I going to do about all this work? I'm just an intern. Ah, there's no time to complain. I can do some of it at the very least. What was up with that? Oh, Dr. Gunter just likes to coerce Lighten into doing his work pretty regularly. This time, I believe he he's desperately trying to follow up with the mountain of invoices that Doctor has been avoiding. That must make his job ten times harder. Yeah, I doubt we can leave this one hanging if that's the case. We gotta do it for poor Lighten. I agree. My poor, my pity for him is becoming too much to bear. Well, alright then. Sarah, do you have any idea where Dr. Gunter might have gone? Oh, does this mean you're accepting my request? Thank you, everyone. Recently, Dr. Gunter has been t talking about participating in an anniversary festival fishing tournament. It's not impossible that his disappearance had something to do with that. Considering he left during work hours, he should probably still be wearing his lab coat. I'm sure he'll stick out like a sore thumb. A fishing tournament? I guess fishing is more than just a hobby to him. If it involves fishing, I'm sure the Fisherman's Guild on East Street will know something. Anyway, we accept your request, Sarah. Once we find him, we'll contact the hospital and bring him back. Sounds great. Thank you very much. We're on the case. Alright. So we're heading off. Back to Crossbell. So we need to use Red Fly. Alright, so now over at East Street, 
instead of the Bracer Guild. Actually, how are they holding up right now? Hey there, sweeties. Ario's got a request from HQ over in Lehman, so his return to Crossbells got a little delayed. Guess he wasn't able to make it for the anniversary festival's first day after all. I have half a mind to file a complaint with HQ for this. Do it. Uh, Alright. To the Fisherman's Guild. Hello? Excuse us. Looks like nobody's in. I figured we'd be able to find a clue about Dr. Gunther if we came here. Those fishing freaks uh, head out to their tournament or whatever it was. If they have, then our would-be clue has already left the building. Wait a moment, please. I still sense a presence somewhere inside. Oh crap, I'm late. Well, if it isn't Detective Lloyd. Great timing, Copan. Uh, you got a second to answer a quick question? Sorry, man, I don't have time to sit here and chit-chat. I gotta hurry to the Fisher uh, Cup out on Ursula's Ursula Road Sandbar. Based on the time, it probably just started. The Fisher Cup? That the Fisher turn Fishing Tournament? Oh, so you guys already knew about it. Should have known. None gets past an angler. The Fisher Cup is a tournament held in honor of the Fisherman's, Fisherman's Guild President, Mr. Fisher. Wait, I just said that I don't have time to sit around and chit-chatting. But don't hurry uh, my rear out there. All the older guys will snag the best spots. Just one thing. One more thing. Among the uh, those attending the Fisher Cup, is there a doctor with glasses, blue hair, and a white lab coat? Hmm? You're talking about uh, Gunter? I'm pretty sure he was uh, coming today, yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Oh, you guys all participating in the tournament? In that case, take this. What? What are you giving? Why are you giving me this? I'm giving it to you as a memento for competing in the Fisher Cup. It's a participation prize, so to speak. I don't ever recall committing to this tournament, so is this really okay? Wait, damn it, I forgot I was running late. Sorry guys, got a jet. You'd better get moving if you want to make it. For someone in a hurry, he really went out of his way. Yeah. Anyway, we should... We know Dr. Gunther should be heading to the sandbar on Ursula Road. We must hurry and reel him in. Caught his enthusiasm, eh, Tito Tot? Silence. All right, so, and back down to Ursula Road. Back and forth, back and forth to the sandbar. All right, the sandbar. Oh, would you look at this? Hey, Gunter. Huh. They look like they're enjoying themselves. I'm impressed they can be so carefree with all these monsters on the highway. Uh, I did not ask for my digital assistant, thank you. There are far fewer monsters than normal today. Were they scared away by the horde of fishermen? I kinda doubt that. But either way, we found our fishing tournament. All that's left to do is find Dr. Gunter. Gunter! It's time to come. It's time to go to work. Ah, fishing is truly delightful. I guess what they say is true. The heart really is soothed with the cast of your line. 
It always helps me feel refreshed after another long after a long day at the hospital. Blue hair, white lab coat. I think we've got our man. Excuse me, are you Dr. Gunter? Yes, that's me. I apologize, but I'm in the middle of something important. Did you need some... Ah! Finally, a bite. He's not even listening. I am, I am. I'm hooked on it. Your every word. Lame pun. Excuse me, sir. Sarah, one of the hospital receptionists, sent us a request to track you down, doctor. Your repeat absences are causing problems for Lighten and the rest of the staff. I've got you now. Oh wow, a viper head. A pretty big one at that. I can tell my daily trips from the hospital are finally starting to pay off. The dude's in his own little world. Sorry, bud, but I don't think uh, he heard a single thing you said. I think you'll have to explain yourself again, Lloyd. But I was already yelling. No, there's no need to raise your voice any further. The hospital staff is awaiting my return, right? Wow. So he isn't completely uh, absorbed into his craft. It's nice to meet you all. I'm Dr. Joe. Jim Joachim Gunter. I'm just a simple associate professor over at St. Ursula Hospital. Hmm? Can't help but feel that we've met before. Deja vu, perhaps? I suppose there's really no point in trying to remember then. No, I wouldn't call this deja vu. We should have started with an introduction. Oh well, better late than never, right? Um, I'm Lloyd Bannings, member of the Crosswell Police Department's Special Support Section. Now, Dr. Gunter, would you... <laughs> it's fine, Lloyd, I understand the dilemma. So does that mean you'll return to the hospital? That's a good question. However, I've been looking forward to the Fisher Cup for the last two months. It's kind of a big deal for us anglers. And since I won't have any free time during the festival, I figured I'd treat myself with this little fishing trip. You have no sense of responsibility as a physician? Well, of course I do. My wrist is awfully sore from all the apology letters I had to write every time I snuck out of the hospital last month. It's a good thing my old chum Lighten was there to help me write half of them. We're getting a little off topic now. What do we have to do to convince you to return to the hospital? Hmm, let me think about that. Well, since we're already at the Fisher Cup, why don't we set settle this over a battle of the baits? Oh, God. You mean fishing? Exactly. If you manage to reel in something larger than the viper head I just caught, I'll gracefully accept defeat and return. Simple, right? So it all comes down to a fishing match, eh? You think you're up for it, Lloyd? Fine, I'll accept your challenge. Any rules I should know of? Spoken like a true angler. I'll show my viper head to Cedrin uh, in a little bit. Once you've caught a fish of your own, you'll have him inspect that one as well. As long as you catch a, a larger fish than my viper head, you will be declared the winner. Keep in mind that there are no do-overs. Once you've shown your fish to Cedrin, that's it. Oh, and no leaving the sandbar. Come with all your gear in hand, because leaving the sandbar to resupply is forbidden. So, how do the rules sound? No complaints from me. I hope I have enough bait on me. Maybe I should ask the other fishermen if I don't, though. I think it's time we start our bait off. Good luck, Lloyd. Let's have some fun. Great. Alright, let's see. Hello. Wow, that was a monster of a catch. I think I've found the perfect fishing spot. Oh, are you guys members of the Fisherman's Guild too? I suppose I am for the time being. Nice to meet you. My name is Lloyd. Lloyd? That's a pretty funny coincidence if you don't, uh, if I do say so myself. What do you mean? We share the s same first name, my boy. I'm Lloyd, a master fisher of the Fisherman's Guild. Cedrin asked me to be a special guest at the tournament, so I packed my things and came all the way from Liberal. Oh yeah, this Lloyd. 
I'll be here for the duration of the anniversary festival. Let's reel in some prize catches. Uh, all right, other Lloyd? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Is this the Lloyd that Estelle was talking about earlier? <laughs> Don't go for the deadliest catch right off the bat. How many catches? Da -da -da. Oh, we get some stuff. Thanks, I appreciate it. So I have to start small, huh? Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, uh... Here we go. I want to save. This is save 101. Nothing wrong with starting small before going big. Fish. Use the novice rod. Uh... Oh, wrong one. The feather tackle with the red flies. Here we go. Did we get it? Cast again. Alright, I'm going to try and catch a couple more. Let's, let's aim for three. Three Cassigans. Thank you. Alright, so now... We go to... Where there was a monster chest, right there. And then... We fish with the novice rod with the Cassigan bait. Did I catch it? Yo, catfish! The tinkle earrings. Ew. <laughs> Alright, did it. I had to reload, but I did it. Alright. Okay, so... Which one of these guys do I report to? Not him. Where is the important guy? You're not... Not who I'm looking for. I'm looking for the guy that will end this. Certain. Copenwen invited you to our guild, huh? Nice to meet you, the Lloyd. The name's Certain. And I'm the Fisherman's Guild Manager here in Crossbow. What are you talking about? I don't recall ever joining the guild. I mean, sure, I did accept that fishing rod earlier. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't sweat the details, kid. You're already our comrade at rods. I don't think I'm escaping this one. Eh, looks like they'll share a love for fishing. I'm willing to bet Cedrin, uh, Cerdin, uh, could talk about it for hours on end. Oh yeah, I heard you're having a showdown against, uh, Gunter, yeah? The format's a little different from an official fishing match, but that's fine. Just give me a shout when you're ready to have... I uh, mean, deliberate. <clears throat> Alright. Of all the fish you caught, the largest amongst them was a catfish. Is this the fish you want to challenge him with? Yes. Oh, well, grab Gunter so I can announce the results. <laughs> Are you sure your fish can measure up to mine? I'm not sure, but I don't plan on losing to you. Yeah? I'm excited to see the results. If you'll do the honor certain, judge away, my friend. Hmm, let's see. Dr. Gunter's corner, we've caught... Uh, we've got an impressive viper head. 
Of all the fish Lloyd caught, the largest amongst them was a catfish. After judging, the winner is... Lloyd Bannings! C come again? Are you sure there wasn't an error in your judgment? Them's the breaks, bud. Lloyd's fish is absolutely massive. Trust me, my eyes never lie. You're kidding. You did it, Lloyd. Hell yeah. You never failed to deliver. I won? Ah, fate is cruel. Well, a win's a win. Here's a little present to celebrate your victory. Oh, a celestial bomb. Kick ass. Thank you, Dr. Gunter. I appreciate it. Now it's time for me to hold up my end of the bargain. Off to the hospital I go. Really? I was expecting you to throw more of a fuss. Excuse me, miss. I'm not some rowdy child. Anyway, a little match was a great opportunity to get some quality fishing in. I'm more than satisfied for the time being. Huh? He's a crafty one, ain't he? He was totally using us to buy more fish in time, I bet. Utterly despicable. I haven't the faintest idea what you mean. It was a pleasure, certain. I'll see you around. Sure, pal. Look forward to seeing you at the next competition. Likewise, friend. Alright, get your ass over to the hospital. Now. Now, if you'll excuse me, special support section, I have a hospital to tend to. I'll be waiting at the bus stop if there's anything else you need from me. That dude had us completely wrapped around his finger. He's cunning, all right. I do not trust him in the slightest. He might swim away the moment we take our eyes off him. Yeah, we should take the same bus to make sure he actually goes back to the hospital. Where in the world were you, doctor? Due to your absence, staff and patients have been very inconvenienced. Huh. Well, if you must know, I was competing in an intense event known as the Fisher Cup. The Fisherman's Guild ran it, and being a member of it myself, I couldn't exactly skip it, could I? Doctor, this is serious. You do realize that Lightning is filling in for you as we speak, don't you? Oh, Lightning is? I really am blessed to have such a capable pupil. I think it would be rude of me to rain on his parade, considering how hard he's working, so why not let things continue as they are? Yes, I think it's for the best. I will be willing to educate. Uh, it will be very educational for him. Very educational indeed. Get. Back. To. Work. Right. This. Instant. Yes, ma'am. Is this guy always like this? If he's qualified to teach as well, he must be quite gifted in his field. You ask me, he's working smarter, not harder. It figures that you'd sympathize with his work ethic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure, but I'll have to excuse myself here. Next time we meet, let's go fishing again, alright? I won't take no as an answer. <laughs> Again? Um, ignore that. I don't know what he's talking about. So, do you need anything else from us? Ah, no. That should be everything. Thanks for your help. You four are lifesavers. You brought him back in record time, too. We'll be calling you if something like this happens again. I have a good feeling uh, you all will be able to handle whatever we throw at you. Of course, you can count on us, Sarah. We have finished the missing doctor's uh, report. Okay, so now we're off back to Crossbell. Let's do it. Beep, beep. Ah, oh, finally back. A call? Oh boy, more trouble? 
Lloyd speaking. Hey, yeah, uh, working hard as always, Lloyd. Fran, how's it going? I've been meaning to thank you for inviting me out yesterday. No big deal. You know, Noe really had a wonderful time with you. And I did too, of course. Glad to hear I was good company. So what's up? Someone submit a request or something? Ah, yes, yeah, something's come up. I'm sure you're familiar with the two gangs downtown. Well, there's been a report that they are currently fighting over in the Harbor District. Seriously? What are they thinking? Pulling a stunt like that with all these tourists around? We thought the same thing, actually. Quite a few people called the police, but it seems all of our patrols are preoccupied at the moment. Since you've dealt with them before, could, you, uh, could we leave this to the special support section? Of course. You said Harbor District, didn't you? We'll head there uh, right away. Please be careful. Something happened over in the Harbor District? Yeah, our two favorite gangs are having a spat, apparently. Walden Wazy must have thought it was a great time to settle it in the middle of a crowded street. Oh my! Those imbeciles again. Jeez, did the enthusiasm of the festival go to their heads or something? Even so, they're putting innocent people in danger with a stunt like this. We should hurry head there ASAP. Understood. Sounds to me like those troublemakers need a good old fashioned spanking. Oh, well, first things first. Boop. Port. Let's see. 172. Um. That wasn't all of my requests. What? Wait, when did I... I don't remember turning these all in. Huh. I've only been going for about three hours now. Three and a half. Many famous... Yeah. It says they're reported, so... I guess I gotta take their word for it. My money doesn't really reflect that uh, much either. Alright, uh, guess we gotta go to the Harbor District. Oh, I just saved, I think. Alright, uh, let's go to the Harbor District. At once. That's... Give me everything you got, you blue bastard. I don't need you to tell me that. Let's do this. Aren't those the delinquents? What exactly are they doing? I am not sure, but I do not sense any danger coming from them. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the regular old throwdowns to me. We should ask them what's going on. Fortunately for us, Wazy and Wald are here, so I don't think things will get out of hand. Hey, what the heck do you guys think you're doing? <gasps> oh, it's Estelle. Huh? Oh? We got a call about some hooligans causing problems, so we came here as fast as we could. Are you the Testaments and Saber Viper dudes from the downtown district? You better cut it out right now. The hell's up with this chick? Pardon us, we're with the Bracer Guild. We received a message claiming that a fight had broken out, so we're here to intervene. The Guild? You're Joshua and Estelle Bright. <laughs> I've seen your faces in magazines. Yeah, yeah, the pleasure's all mine. You two are the leaders of these goons, right? Essentially. I'm Wazy, leader of the Testaments, and this here is Wald, leader of the Saber Vipers. That matches the contents of the report. 
It doesn't look like you're fighting, so what exactly are you guys up to? Don't mind us, we're just having some fun. Seeing as how it's the anniversary festival, we thought we'd try something a little different from the usual routine. Anyway, we're partaking in a series of one-on-one -on -one battles to determine an overall victor. A series of battles? What are you guys talking about? Both teams will nominate five members to engage in one-on-one -on -one battles. The last pairing to compete will be Wazy and Wald. We have determined the losing side will have to cover the victor's meal's expense for the remainder of the festival. Oh, that makes perfect sense. You guys are just having a friendly exhibition match. That sounds fun, so I guess I can let it slide. Ah, Zaf. I don't care if it's a friendly match. That doesn't make it okay to do it out here. Move your butt somewhere else. You're annoying everybody else trying to enjoy the festival. Huh. <laughs> fat chance. You know, I don't give a damn if you're braces or whatever, but you guys keep acting like you're hot shit. Don't get so damn cocky. Now you listen here, bub. You're the idiot who's too cocky. All I did was try to knock some common sense into that thick skull of yours. You bitch. Sounds like you're asking to get your ass kicked. I don't mind taking you and your little black hair friend on, if that's what you want. Well, how should we handle this, Joshua? Everybody's watching us now. Don't make any rash decision. It'd reflect poorly on the guild. Yeah, I figured as much. What the hell are you guys whispering about over there? Aren't, aren't you ready to piss yourselves facing Wald Wales, the demon smasher? Settle down, Wald. If that girl knows her martial arts, she might even be able to take you down. What'd you say? You could tell? Eh, it was just a hunch. Let's not ignore your friend over there, either. He's actually far stronger than you, isn't he? Huh, <laughs> I've still got a lot of training ahead of me, though. That was pretty rude of you to say. Sure, Joshua is stronger than me. But it still pisses me off to hear you say it straight to my face. Now, now, you know... Uh, that being Bracer comes down to more than just brute strength. Huh, <laughs> you telling me this girlie could beat me in a fight? Ha, huh. you think you're so tough? Prove it. Estelle. It's okay, this will be a piece of cake. <laughs> what? Don't say I didn't warn you. She took down Wald? The hell's up with the, that chick? That was amazing. Are all bracers this strong? Hey there, buddy. You all right? <laughs> My bad. I wasn't taking you seriously. Don't you think you're taking me a l little too lightly, though? Whoa there. Get back, Estelle. Settle down, you guys. Aren't you getting a little too carried away? Yeah, I agree. I think it's probably meaningless to apologize at this point, though. Huh. I got you all pissed off, didn't I? I get it, you're a strong guy. I love beating the piss out of guys like you more than anyone, anything else. Come on, pull out that weapon of yours, punk. Hey, cool your jets, Joshua. I'm totally fine, you don't need to get all serious. Hold it right there. Well, if it isn't the SSS. Oh, it's you guys. What are you doing here? I've heard about the situation already. Please, I urge you both, uh, both of you to calm down. Huh, as if I could. Those bracers are pretty damn good. I, I'd heard rumors, but who would have thought they'd get me all riled up like this? This is precisely why I'm telling you to calm down, Wald. First off, you're in a public space. If you're dead set on conducting your matches, couldn't you at least do everybody a favor and relocate to somewhere more quiet? No deal. Isn't it a bit cruel to cut us uh, off right as things were starting to get exciting? Wazy? Wald's totally lost his cool, and these bracers are just trying to do their job. 
Shouldn't they stick to their guns and fight each other? Ha! <laughs> Damn straight! It's a little embarrassing, but I actually, I'm actually kind of peeved, too. If we both feel the same way, then why don't we settle it? Right here, right now. Bring it on, girly. Enough already. Joshua, are you doing... Uh, are you going to continue staying there in silence, or are you going to help me out? Sorry, Lloyd. I can't let this one slide so easily, either. What is with the both of you? <laughs> Y'all been through so much. You can... <laughs> I'm pretty sure they could easily talk this situation down. Really? I guess I'll be... Wa Wald's backup, then. You may be strong, but I'm willing to bet you run into trouble trying to take the two of us on your own. Whatever. Suit yourself. Why is everybody in this city so freaking stubborn? This is spiraling out of control very quickly. There is no doubt th their dispute will cause a large disturbance for the citizens. You know, if you're itching for a fight that badly, then why not settle it in some other way? Huh? Hmm? It'd be pretty crappy to harbor a grudge during a festival, no? Why not try settling it in a more friendly fashion? A friendly fashion? How? Um, I'm not trying to follow you, Randy. Boy, do I have an idea for you. Uh-oh. <laughs>